here are my five picks from Mix One 2023 Matchbox Mainline. Just want to say thanks again to car collector Toby for getting the McLaren and the Citroen. I couldn't find them in the UK at all, which was a shame, but really like them. And now I can review these guys for you. Okay, so here we have the Koenigsegg Mera. Rivian RIT McLaren 720 Spider 2020 Corvette and the Citroen Ami so this one I was really looking forward to Hot Wheels did a version last year which is pretty cool but this one is is superior to that one definitely and I will do a separate video comparing the two. So for me, Matchbox is like the older, maturer brother of Hot Wheels. The Hot Wheels got a lot of cool attitude, uh, really thick, chunky castings. There's a certain style to it. Matchbox, more realistic, a bit more like grown up as it were, but you know, a bit more like refined in terms of the details and the, yeah, and a bit more realistic, but, um, in the UK this year, they've finally started getting more of these cars in, like supermarkets. Otherwise, it's really hard to get them. And still, some still are very hard to get because, you know, Hot Wheels, it's quite, you can just see the cases rolling in case by case and it's quite predictable. But with these, it, it really isn't. So, um, anyway, really appreciate that Matchbox have done some work on uh, UK distribution because I don't want to have to keep buying from like Europe or America all the time although thanks to those dealers who helped me out in getting what I collect and yeah it's uh, there's some really nice castings here from Mix One um, and let's open these up and take a look okay here are my five picks so the Citroen Ami really some, probably the smallest matchbox die cast that there is I'm not sure there's an interior. If there is one, it's pretty hard to see. Let me try and zoom in a bit on that. No, because it's quite reflective, it's hard to see what's going on. If anything, so anyway, here's the front. Bear in mind this is my thumb, so really small tampos have done really well. This is the back, the brake light. Random silver mark there. Small. I think in um, so I look at the Lamley channel a lot, and um, they had a poll last year, like which was the worst Matchbox. I think this was voted as the worst Matchbox casting, which is a real shame because I think it's really cute. Um, obviously, there's a massive audience who just prefer racing cars, and I like those two a lot. But I can also appreciate something a little small like this. I mean, it's not even technically a car; it's like a quadricycle. Um, and yeah, it's great for just zipping around town doing small trips. And I think the Citroen want to attract a lot of younger kind of drivers to get one of these. But yeah, this is a really fun vehicle. I hope that this comes out in many different colours in the future rather than just grey. It'd be funny to see like bright red or something and with a, some kind of pattern on here. So yeah. Um, Really like this casting, one of my favourites out of this set of five. Next, let's have a look at this McLaren. Kind of detailed tampo on the front. Mm, not quite sure what's going on with this top row of lights, but maybe they could have refined that a bit better. Great, nice little detail under here, the plastic part, the air vents on the hood, nice matte black plastic. It looks like metal, but yeah, I think that is plastic. Okay, and interior you can see the wheel, dashboard. I got some details in there, not like a rough job of the dashboard like it and 
around the back. That's cool. We've got all this pattern work here. It's quite nice. I quite like this lime green colour. And here it's not quite fully been put on properly. It should be all black. But yeah, we've got the Tampo 720S license plate, brake lights, and tiny McLaren sign there. So all in all, really cool. I like how they captured a lot of different contours, which you know a lot of modern cars are now showing. Next, Koenigsegg. This is brilliant. I love this one a lot. Nice yellow tint, metal flake grey, Koenigsegg sign on the back, engine detail. Nice five spoke wheels, front tampoed lights. Yeah, really amazing casting for a budget car. This one I actually picked up in Morrison's, which was awesome. Really good to just see it there and just get it, rather than just having to resort to resellers or scalpers on eBay. Rivian truck. It's got a six spoke tire and it's got three, it's got two, sorry, two layers of plastic. I'm not sure if this is maybe a three layer on top as well. I'm not sure unless I take it apart, but I'm not going to do that. Interior, I think it might have an interior, but difficult to see with the reflective plastic. If they didn't, it wouldn't surprise me because there's quite a few layers of plastic already. And it's got front and back tampos, which cost a lot more. So they might have just sacrificed the interior for that. And then the front lights, it's okay. I mean, I know that's faithful to how it looks, but just yeah, maybe in the future, I don't know if they can actually improve like, the casting of it or something. But yeah, it's clever how they've done that the metal to say like rather than to save metal and the cost of raw materials, they've just used a plastic roof and just done this metal bar all around. But when it's all put together, it looks really cool, futuristic. That one and then we've got this one 2020 Corvette. This come out in multiple colours, had like a blue, red, black, and now Arctic White. And this looks really cool. I like it a lot. Shame that they couldn't tampo any more lights on here uh, or on the front grille either. But we do have the tampoed headlights, nothing on the back, unlike the other models, and it's a shame. It's not very well differentiated here either. But that looks super cool. And they've got, maybe because they have like a side paint that they didn't do the back just to save cost on that. So that's what it looks like from the top. Definitely got the interior here. Again, quite tricky to see. I'll be doing a brand comparison with Hot Wheels, Matchbox and Auto World. They've all made this model and they look really cool. Uh, for me, I think in terms of value for money, the Matchbox is the best. Um, the Auto World ones are really nice. I have reviewed one previously in Zeus Bronze and I've got the Arctic White one as well. So we'll be doing that in a future video. Okay, let's give these guys a spin. I've got the Koenigsegg and the Citroen. Looking great together. Let's put the Rivian in here and the McLaren. See, I like the range of vehicles. You know, you've got hypercars, trucks, uh, the Citroen Ami, little, you know, town car. Really cool variations. I'm not really a truck guy. Um, if they're really futuristic and cool looking, I'll generally pick it up. So um, I'm gonna do a review. I finally managed to get my hands on a GMC Hummer EV. Uh, Hot Wheels did one last year and it was like half the roof. It was like a version without half the roof. Whereas this version, my Matchbox, 
had the hard top, well it's done in plastic, but it was the hard top version, so yeah, looking forward to reviewing that as well from the moving parts line. And lastly, let's put this Corvette on here. Great affordable car, um, but looks great and good performance as well. Let's get this out of the way so you can see it. And I really like Matchbox's, like the pearl white kind of colour. It's, it's not quite bright white, it's like off white and it's kind of mixed with Metal Flake. But overall the effect is great because I've seen some white paint and sometimes it's just a bit plain and boring or, you know, but they kind of added some texture to it which, which makes it really cool. So anyway, here are my five picks. You know, Matchbox Mix 1, really strong start to the year and I really look forward to the other models that are coming out I'm not sure what is if you do drop me uh, something in the comments below um, I think they're doing a Mazda RX-8 um, I know they're going to do the Renault Twizy which we look which is probably going to be pretty cool um, and I think maybe there's a Volvo or something like that that they're doing anyway I hope you enjoyed this video, drop a comment below, give it a like and uh, see you in the next video.